Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis, and today I'm bringing you a tabletop review of the Lenovo N22 Chromebook. Um, it is back to school time, and there are many parents that are out there looking for some sort of mobile device for their child to use, either for home or something that they can take with them to school. Uh, the Lenovo N22 was designed uh, not primarily for the educational market, but it has many features that would make it perfect for the educational market, uh, perfect use in the classroom, or even for travel. Um, so let's go and get started. All right, the vitals on this machine. It's got an Intel N3050 processor running around 1.6 gigahertz, and it does have a burst mode that can take it just a hair above 2 gigahertz uh, when uh, performance uh, demands it to. This particular model has 4 gigs of RAM. I did purchase this model. I got it on eBay. Um, I purchased it used. It had been used once or twice, and I received it basically new in the box uh, and I got a great deal on it but you're gonna find these averaging between 175 and maybe 200 bucks now that's that's in uh, August of 2016 and as you know prices on these devices will tend to drop off as time goes on it does have a 720p um, HD camera that does actually rotate completely back around which is pretty cool and we'll go ahead and take a look at the ports here. Uh, just to let you know, you can two-finger scroll with this, and you can also tap, and you can click to select, which is a nice option. Uh, you can actually push the screen all the way back, so if you have an accident and push it, it's not going to snap your hinges, which is very nice to have. And it's got one more cool little feature that just, I'm a sucker for gadgets, and it's kind of one of those things that sold me on it. But we'll get there in just a little bit. Oh, it also has a, a spill-resistant keyboard where if you pour any kind of fluids on it, up to a certain amount, I can't remember the amount exactly, but a basic spill will actually pour out of the bottom and exit out of the drain hole on the bottom of the device, which is really cool. Uh, checking out the ports on the side here. You've got HDMI out, you've got USB 3.0, let's get that in focus for you there. Uh, you've got a regular SD card slot and a headphone jack. It does have stereo speakers on both sides. Um, I believe it's rated at a 45 watt battery that's supposed to last around 10 hours. Uh, it's a three cell battery. Uh, and I don't know, when, when I check it out on my machine, it says it's all, something like 96, 95% left on the battery. And it says I have 13 hours left, but I'm averaging about eight to nine, 10 hours of just kind of casual use. I actually just use it to watch YouTube videos on for the most part and check my email, do some shopping and so on. It is running the Chrome OS. The screen does have a matte finish. Um, it is a 1300 by 768 or 1328 by 768 resolution screen, so it's not the super sharp HD that you get on, a, say, a Toshiba Chromebook 2, but it is sharp enough for daily use, so let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, we'll go ahead and just open up the web browser so you can check out the performance on it. Now, it does have an AC802.11 uh, uh, Wi-Fi card, which means it's going to connect to the quickest connection that it possibly can. Um, that's a fairly upgraded card, and that should work well for you in just about any kind of wireless situation. And just checking it out here, as you can see, the OS popped up with... Uh, very few problems at all. I mean, it simply just went to where it needed to go. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the uh, the New York Times. I'm actually going to borrow a, book, uh, a page from the book of one of my favorite YouTube, uh, YouTubers, um, uh, Lon Seidman, and this is one of the things that he does, and it, it does actually kind of show you how well uh, devices can perform because of all the graphics and the pictures and everything that pops up on the screen. So let's see what this thing can do. Like I said, this one does have 4 gigs of RAM, so it's generally a little bit speedier. So as you can see, it just simply opens right up it goes to the subscription page let's check out uh, cnn.com real quick and see what we can do by the way I'm doing this review in just one take so whatever happens happens so if it stalls or delays you're gonna see it I'm gonna show you exactly what happens okay uh, people have asked a question will it run uh, 1080p uh, videos on YouTube it will play 1080p but it does stutter a little bit now granted my internet connection only has uh, 60 megabits per second so it's not a super speedy connection it's not you know fiber or anything like that but it's quick enough um, I really have no connectivity issues at all it did a few updates um, as soon as I first got it which was nice let's see let's go to uh, YouTube real quick here and we can check out my channel uh, I've been very happy with it so far I've had it for about four weeks and I've had uh, very few issues with it at all just uh, occasional little you know YouTube connection issues and that's pretty much it all right let's go to my channel by the way I do have two channels and this video is going to be featured on two different channels uh, let's check out a video on by the way just see so have a heads up I am a bit of a firearms enthusiast but here is a video that I did on a straight talk phone okay it is going to play an ad and we'll skip that here in just a sec there we go. Sound is more than adequate for uh, single room listening. I'm bringing you part three in my review 
Now let's crank up the resolution here to 1080p and see what happens. Like I said, it could stall. It might play. I want you to see this so that you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Hmm. Have a little bit of buffering going on there. As you can see, it is struggling a little bit with uh, with HD, but it is loading. Okay, let's crank that down just a little bit. Let's just go, say, 360p. And it runs just fine. So 1080p is going to be a challenge, but I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I very rarely have a quick enough connection that I can run 1080p on my mobile devices here in the house. You know, we can run Netflix just fine and so on. Um, and again, you can run the Android apps on this too if you have an account which makes this also even more usable because you can bring some of your phone apps over, which comes in really handy. Uh, let's see, a few other features about it. the design. The plastic is really reminiscent of a first-generation PowerBook G3, you know, the Wall Street, Pismo, um, Lombard models. Those of you that are old uh, Apple junkies will probably know what I'm talking about there. It's very durable, very hard plastic. It's a nice, solid frame. When you pick it up, it doesn't flex. I mean, you can barely squeeze the plastic on it because it's that, it's that durable. Um, and I do have two other Chromebooks, an Asus C300 and a Toshiba Chromebook 2. In my opinion, this has a better build quality just overall than those two devices. Now, my Asus is a pretty stout machine, but I do like how sturdy this thing feels. And the last little feature that I really like, this is just kind of cool, I don't know. Uh, you got the handle. Okay, you get a little handy carry handle built in, so if you just want to grab it and move it around from room to room or carry it with you when you go, uh, you're good to go. I'm not going to say this is a super rugged model. I mean, I, it's not mil-spec by any stretch, but it is one of those things that's going to give you some peace of mind that it should last a while. Like I said, I've had no problems with mine, you know, other than the, the 1080p um, streaming. That's about the only issue you're going to run into. Oh, and uh, last thing, if I had mentioned, so you do have two USB 3.0 parts, which is great, so it does support those devices. All right, so there you go, the Lenovo N22 Chromebook. I uh, hope you like this review. If you do, please subscribe to one of my two channels that this video is being featured on, and I hope to bring you more uh, videos in the future. And again, if you have any questions about this device, please post them at the bottom of the video, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks a lot, be safe, have fun, and have a great time going back to school.